Hi. When I was a kid, I was told happiness comes from inside. <laughs> I hated that quote. Still do, to be honest. I did finally figure out what it meant, though. I'm sure that whoever made that quote had good intentions, but I wish they hadn't been quite so obscure. Of course, some people probably aren't going to want to hear the truth about happiness. Dum dum dum! <laughs> so, you know, I spent a lot of time when I was younger being depressed. During my wife's decline and death, I was depressed. After I lost my job at Generations Against Bullying, I was depressed. But one thing that I figured out is that the best phrase to use is not happiness comes from within, but, and it's not what Andrew Car Carnegie said. Andrew Gar Carnegie said, success is getting what you want, happiness is, getting, is wanting what you get. Sorry, I'm riding a bike right now. I don't entirely agree with him, but good enough. Except for the fact that happiness is a choice. Yeah, there it is. That's the big secret. And what makes it worse for all of you people who don't like making choices and don't want to have responsibility for your own lives and stuff like that is you're not happy or you're bored or whatever it is because you choose to be. Yes, I know. There's a difference between feeling, feelings and emotions. Okay? I'm not talking about the, the ones that are automatically triggered by events. Okay? If you're at school and you feel bored, you feel bored because you've decided you're bored. You decided not to have enthusiasm for your class, the subject, maybe the teacher. You've made that choice on your own. And what's the consequence? You're bored. But it doesn't just end there. Not only are you bored, but you're also robbing yourself. What? Yep, you're robbing yourself because by allowing yourself to feel boredom over that class, that teacher, that subject, whatever it is, you are robbing yourself of the full benefits of that learning experience. You will not remember as much. You will not be able to um, do as well. And you will not develop a strong interest, most likely, unless you get a different teacher or whatever that really inspires you in that subject. So you're actually shortchanging yourself by allowing yourself to feel boredom. It's a choice. But I'm not gonna talk about all that in this video. In this video, I'm just talking about happiness. So if you wanna be happy, make the choice to be happy. Even if you're in a situation where you're not happy, where bad things are, have happened or are happening, you can choose to rise above it, to maintain a positive outlook on things. Because not only well, that takes some of the weight of the experience off of you and help you with some of the stress that you're experiencing as a result of that negative situation. <clears throat> it also allows your brain to function more optimally. Yes, I know, you've probably heard it. It's better to be a, an optimist than a pessimist. Well, that's not entirely true. Cute puppy. Yeah. The truth is, is if you're a realistic optimist, then it's okay. But if you're one of those pie in the sky, I can do anything, including fly like Superman or climb walls like Spider-Man. Well, 
you are in living in a fantasy world. And that doesn't work because this isn't a fantasy world. So you need to decide to want to be happy. And you need to decide that even when you're in a less than optimal situation, that you're gonna to try to maintain a level of happiness. So, you know, I lost my wife two and a half years ago to cancer, but despite that, I still choose to be happy. <clears throat> Is my situation always wonderful? No, but it sure as heck could be a lot worse than it is right now. So I'm gonna ask you please, learn to cultivate happiness in your thoughts. Be positive about your outcome and you will notice differences in your life. I have and I can guarantee that accepting certain specific circumstances, you will as well. So please give that some thought. And uh, as Bobby McFerrin said, don't worry, be happy. Thanks for listening, bye.